this is the hangout. There's Jethro. Durf is pawing because I had to tie him up until we get done with this. And then Hank is even hanging out with me. And of course, Kid and his stick. Your stick. Get your stick. Oh, he loves his stick. But I'm not playing fetch with him, so he's getting mad. But anyway, RJ is fixing this one little thing here. And then I should be able to finish this stall today and hopefully have Durf in here. Right, son? Yep. Which is awesome. So, okay, so Durf is um, actually in his stall for the first time. He walked up willingly. We don't let them, uh, don't force them. I was actually picking up this halter as I'm tripping over it. He's nosing around for the first time. And uh, that's going to be his stall. Oh. I just walked out and put um, a bucket of water down. And I'm trying to get back to work. But he's in there nosing. I'm going to get a hay bag. We plan on making it his lifetime home. So I'm trying to get this thing up off the ground here. Alright, it's getting dark. Durf and I are hanging out, out here. Aren't we Durf? What did mommy get done today, huh? Yes, he's hanging out. He's <laughs> Okay, so this is two stalls done. I have enough wood still to do. He's following me. Come here, Durf. He knows his feet is in here, but he's just... Okay, he's in the other stall. We have it petitioned with cattle panels. Only two have the um, gates. We're going to add those as we go. It's something that's simple. Can be replaced real easy. Um, we've got his hay in here. We've put him a water bucket there. It's just one of those uh, goat tubs. And this is his new home. Tomorrow we're going to come out here and bust a big old bale of hay and actually get some bedding down in here. He probably won't stay in here a whole lot tonight, but he does have his hay. Um, we have noticed that he really likes to poop in here. He walks up in here and poops every time. I don't know if this is where he, what he thinks he's supposed to do in here or not, but he's got like three piles of poop, none in the big pasture here, which is not the big pasture. Um, then we've got this one. I still have construction going on in here. Hey, Durfy Durf, you got their dirt. Eh, big semi going by. Okay, sorry. Sometimes he gets a little cattywampus, but stay out. I'm going to go in here. I have this one. 75% done. I have the two walls right here. I have enough wood to finish this one. I don't have enough to do that because I had to do some spacers. And then when I went to buy some of these, I was supposed to pick up like 25. They only had 17. So I'm running short on that one. But I'll get everything cut that I have. Put this wall together. And then literally I have this piece of trim to go on the side over there where the sheep will run by. We got the trim up on the top up here I don't know if you can see that probably not but um, anyway got a lot done today um, tomorrow Lee is off so I'll probably come out here and do this other wall and clean up this stall if I get this other wall done then I'm gonna find some more of those I want that done I want two of these operational and for this winter um, if we win the lottery then I will definitely finish that but we're also going to build us a round pin out here. So we're super excited about that. And we found out that um, even on uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever, they, uh, a round pin was about $700. Um, and that was a really good deal. But I can build one for about $200. So it is a good deal. I'm happy with it. Derfy derf! He's happy to be out of that little bitty stall. RJ's super happy to have another stall with for his mares. Hey, Durf. Yes, that's my big boy. He is big, though. He is. <laughs> He's going to run me over. All right. Um, honestly, his back end, if you look, um, it probably goes to my forehead. Um, this is my forehead, probably. So... Yeah, he's every bit of five foot back there. Okay, so we're going to get him fed, which is what he's wanting. And uh, he'll be spending his first night out here in the new stalls. So, 